So hello guys, welcome to this video. So in today's quick video, we will be drawing the flag of Republic of Uzbekistan, for which we will be using the Python, particularly the Spy Charm. And of course, uh, depending on your preference, you can use any ID or integrated development environment you want. So now here, I have already created a new project and give it the name of flag of Uzbekistan. So here in this project, we will be drawing this flag with the help of the module called the Tkinter and then which is a built uh, in module in Python. That's why meaning that we don't have to specifically include or maybe import any other include or uh, let's say the add any other uh, separate packages. So now if you're ready, let's jump right into it. So we, we are going to start by importing this uh, model. So it's uh, as I said, Tkinter as uh, TK and then after importing this module we are gonna initialize the window so it's gonna be window equals TK dot TK parenthesis and then after this one we are gonna set a couple of parameters of the window let's say it's gonna be window dot uh, geometry so and then it's gonna be here in this window uh, in this parameter so uh, with the help of this function I am gonna uh, give the size of this window so it's gonna be 1400 by 750 pixels and then uh, we are gonna also define another parameter it's gonna be also it's gonna be it's gonna get also defined by the uh, method called the geometry and then here we are gonna open parenthesis in this parenthesis we are gonna enter plus zero plus zero uh, this means that we are going to open this uh, window uh, on the top left corner meaning that here we are going to uh, start the window right here so that so that we avoid any kind of conflicts when we open the window and then after opening the window so now let's give this uh, window a name and then we are going to give this name using the uh, method called or the title let's say you can say flag uh, of Let's say flag of Uzbekistan. Okay, so now the title is done. And then here, after this one, what we are going to do is just we are going to initialize new canvas where we will be drawing uh, all the necessary items. So canvas equals. So the, what we are going to do is just take a dot canvas and then open this. And then after this, we are going to give this window as a parameter. And after this one, we are going to have width which is 1400 and then after after that we are going to have height which is 750 and then after this one we, go, we have background which is going to be white so it is going to be white and then after initializing this we are going to uh, pack this into the window so for which we are going to uh, write something or snipping of code something like this okay so now we are done with it and then after that we are going to initialize these windows or add this window to the main loop so and then we are going to check whether it's working fine or not so run this code now as you can see we are having this window and then uh, with the title of flag of uzbekistan meaning that it's uh, or everything is working fine and now uh, what we are going to do is just we are going to define all the shapes which we will be using in order to draw the flag of the republic of uzbekistan and then very first thing we are going to do is just we are going to define a new function to draw uh, stars now actually i don't know whether you are familiar with it or not but here in this as you can see uh, in the flag of the republic of uzbekistan we have this 12 uh, stars uh, meaning that we need to draw 12 stars but in order to avoid the extra amount of code or maybe the extra lines of codes uh, we need to define a function so for which we are going to define a new function which is going to be define uh, draw star and then here we are going to do something like this and then it's going to uh, accept canvas as a parameter and then we are going to accept x and y which are the coordinates of the stars and then after this one let's say uh, we will be putting all the copying and the pasting so here we say canvas and then in a nutshell we will be creating star uh, with the help of two triangles so in order to draw a triangle we will be using the uh, shape called polygon so for which canvas dot create and then here there we have and then uh, we are gonna something like x plus uh, 25 and then comma this is gonna be y minus 25 and then comma it's gonna be x y and then after this one we are gonna write x plus 50 and then sorry 50 and then this is gonna be y and then we are gonna fill the shape uh, with again white because the star is as you as you saw the star is in the white color and then we are going to also create another uh, rectangle 
uh, which is the another which will make the star complete so create polygon and then here in this case we have x comma y and then not y, yeah y minus 15 and comma and then here we have x plus 25 comma and then we have y plus 10 comma then here we have x plus 50 and then comma it's gonna be y minus 15 and then again we are gonna fill the shape so this y okay sorry it is gonna be y okay so now we have just successfully defined our function and then what we are gonna do is just we are gonna cut this and then we are gonna copy this into this function and then as you can see the function has been defined successfully and then after this one what we are gonna do is just we are gonna uh, draw the rectangle so as you can see here we have this rectangles first we are gonna draw this blue rectangle and then so here we are gonna use the function canvas rectangle so canvas dot create uh, rectangle so as you can see we have four parameters and then here we have zero comma zero and then comma and then another one is 1400 and then comma it's gonna be uh, y is 200 and then here we are gonna fill the shape with this uh, blue color as you saw and then once we are done so we are gonna copy this line in order to copy this line you just simply have to press ctrl plus d and then here another part another parameter is just uh, it, it's gonna be 200 and then uh, this is gonna be 200 uh, 20 and then after this one let's say 220 and then it's going to be 400 and then here we have uh, 420 and then after this one we have this 420 and then after this one we are going to say 440 and then let me copy this line one more time and then here this is going to be 440 and then this is going to be 640 so now here I think everything is done and now let me uh, compile this code in order to check everything is running smoothly or not and then unfortunately this is gonna be this is not blue and then this should be red sorry we should have changed this and then this is gonna be white and then again this is gonna be red and then this is gonna be grand so green and then so now as you can see let's say we have just the draft version of this flag and then what we are missing here is we are missing this crescent and then we are missing this these stars so here we have to draw them and then we are going to continue with this code or maybe snippet of code and then after uh, drawing this uh, stuff what we are going to do is just uh, we are gonna uh, draw the crescent so for which we will be using the shape called OL so for which and now let me write this code canvas.create and then we done this this rectangle with oval and then this is gonna be 20 comma 20 and then these are the the coordinates of the box in which the oval or the circular shape will be drawn and then it's gonna be 180 and then this is gonna be 180 and then this is, we are gonna fill this uh, with white because uh, it's gonna be white because this crescent is gonna be in the white color and then we are gonna have outline which is gonna which is also gonna be white here so this is the, the set and then we are gonna create another oval which will make the crescent complete so and then here we have this create uh, create oval yep there we have and then we are gonna give a couple of parameters and then they are gonna be as I said 60 comma 35 comma and then this is gonna be 200 and then comma this is gonna be 165 and then we are gonna fill the shape fill the shape with uh, let's say uh, blue and then here we have blue so and then we are gonna have comma and then after this one outline and then this is gonna also be blue so now I think everything is set and then let me check one more time so now as you can see we are having a perfect uh, this uh, crescent and now what we are missing is just the, the stars and then we are going to define those stars using the function uh, here as you can see we are going to use this function again and again so here what we are going to do is just we are going to draw it was a draw star and then we are going to give canvas as an input 
and then here we are gonna give x and y it's gonna be 150 and then comma it's gonna be again 150 so let me check if it's working fine or not so now here we are having the only one star and then we are gonna have another stars here but meaning that we will not be changing the uh, y instead we will be changing only x so now i'm gonna uh, copy this in order to copy this line i'm gonna press ctrl d so as i said we will not be changing y instead we will be changing only this uh, x and then his this is gonna be 300 and then we have only uh, five stars as you probably know and then here yeah now we have five stars and then we need four stars for which i'm gonna copy this and then this time uh, we are gonna change only x this is gonna be let's say uh this is got sorry we are gonna change only y and then this is gonna be 100 and then this is also, this is gonna be also 100 this is gonna be also 100 and then this is gonna be also 100 and then let me run okay so now what we are missing is just the uh, three stars copy this line and then we are gonna paste here and then this is gonna be this time the y gonna y is gonna be 50 and then 50 and then let's run this code one more time so i'm formatting the code from time to time as you can see in order to format the code you have to press ctrl r plus l and then yeah now it's perfectly done now as you can see we are done with drawing the flag of Republic of Uzbekistan and then I'll be providing the full code in the description box if you want you can download this code and if you want you can tweak the code in the way you want so thank you so much for watching have a good time bye